Welcome to Motivate Results. Uh, welcome to 2014. So, I'm in the middle of uploading a video, and it might be done, I think, maybe. And I thought I'd make a quick vlog. I haven't done one of these in a while, and I wanted to bring you guys a couple of updates and um, maybe news, maybe. First thing, so, I need to write these down, or otherwise I forget. Uh, first thing, diet update. So, with the diet, uh, my bulk is going decent, uh, putting on weight some days, some days better than others. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention is that because I have such a high expenditure or caloric burn or whatever you want to call it during the leg days, and then I'll come home and maybe go running with my, my puppies uh, and, and go jogging with them or sprinting or whatever. I mean, certain days I burn a lot more calories than I do others, for example, on a push day or maybe like an off day. And so I see that it's almost harder for me to maintain a certain weight during those days. And so I have contemplated doing a carb cycling, which I know for some of the uh, flexible dieters or if it fits your macros people, that might be blasphemy. Uh, but I think I would like the, I like the idea of a consistent, gradual gain versus, um, you know, this kind of little pyramid, I kind of up and down motion thing I'm doing. So that's one thing to think about. Now, I know there's going to be people that are going to be arguing about um, the energy balance that occurs because you, you know you, it all averages out throughout the week. And, and although I do agree as far as body composition, I haven't seen any major issues. Um, I do think about contemplating changing the, the, the dieting style for two reasons. One for, for the idea of having a consistent gain versus just these, these little spikes. And two, uh, for the idea of um, trying a new system out, just for trying it out. I mean, that's kind of one of the major things of this channel is me trying things out, giving you guys unbiased experience and opinions about it, and letting you guys choose what works best for you. So I've never personally tried a car cycling program. It seems simple enough to set up and program. So um, we'll see. We'll see how I feel in the next couple of weeks. Uh, my weight hasn't really jumped too high. I mean, I'm probably 15, 10 to 15 pounds heavier than my lowest point in my cut, which I have to pull up my spreadsheet, but I want to say it's about four months ago, five months ago. So, you know, give or take, you know, you know kind of where that's at. So that's my diet update. That's kind of where I'm at. Um, I don't give you guys too many updates because the channel's not really about me. So it is what it is. Just kind of giving you guys information. Um, but back to the New Year situation. So I wanted to bring you guys uh, a different paradigm, if you will, a, a different idea on goal setting. And, and I think that everybody should really be goal setting, goal setting to a certain degree. Um, some people tend to, to set up New Year's resolutions and then just the idea of a resolution or New Year's resolution really turns people off and in the end ends up discouraging them from continuing on their goals. So what I would suggest to you, things that I've found that have helped me achieve the greatest success with my uh, personal goals, especially my 2013 goals, which I achieved like 90% of them, um, is really twofold. One, to set clear and achievable goals. Uh, don't sit down and say, I just started lifting and by the end of the next year, I'm going to be a record holder power lifter. It's not going to happen. Don't sit down and say, I just started lifting and I'm going to become like Jay Cutler in a year. It's not going to happen. So, what I would suggest to you is set realistic goals that you can hit within the year. And the second piece that I found is really useful is have a plan to achieve the goals. Uh, don't just say you're going to do it and then say, I'll figure it out in the meantime. Really sit down and have a plan because having a plan is going to lead you to success. This is why power lifters sit down and have a program that they sit down and they go through. They go through it in order to achieve, you know, X amount of weight and X amount of lifts gained. Um, you know, Brandon Campbell, he's been talking about his um, brand new program that people give him shit about, and I'll link that down below. And I'll, and you know, he's achieving goals because he has a good program in place. And I think that's a problem with a lot of people that have good program in place, assuming that you're just going to go in there and train chest today. And, and that was a big problem for me, by the way. Going in and thinking you're just going to train chest and then triceps and then da 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 and not really maximizing your success because of the lack of discipline and the lack of programming that, that you don't have. 
And so that's my two points to you. In fact, I'm even going to add a third one. So remember, set clear goals, set good goals that you can achieve within a year. Two, set up a plan in order to achieve the goals. And three, what I would highly suggest also is every two weeks, every day, every other day, whatever you want to do it, do it as, go back and look at your list again. Don't just set it up the day before Thanksgiving, the day before New Year's, and then never look at it again. Set up your program, set up your goals, and look at them. And seriously sit and say and ask yourself, don't say, ask yourself, am I moving towards achieving my goal? And if you are, you're going to have to ask yourself why or why not. And you're going to have to really look at what you're doing wrong or what you're not doing in order to progress in whatever your goals are for the year. So those three tips, take them or leave them, do what you want. Just trying to help out. So, uh, looking into my notes here, I'm trying to keep these short. How long are we? Look at this, pretty long. So, last quick topic. Uh, I keep talking about videos I'm going to bring up to you guys. Uh, there's a couple things, a lot of reviews I want to do. Uh, I want to talk more about the nutrition piece that we've been talking about. I'm going to continue a lot of the mobility, flexibility stuff. I uh, really want to get into um, just kind of small little workouts that you can do. Not real workouts, but mobility style drills, workouts that you can do in order to kind of loosen up certain pieces. Um, but I mentioned before the Kelly Starry book that I reviewed, I'll link that below, that you should probably look into anyways. It's probably always good to have that in your library if you have certain issues that you're trying to work out that don't require medical assistance, by the way. Star asterisk thing there. Uh, so those are the kind of coming up. As far as the cooking videos, I want to bring more cooking videos to you guys, but I am one of those kind of people that can listen to the same song over and over and over. And in the same respect, I can also do that with food. So my diet, like one or two meals in the day kind of vary a lot. But for the most part, some of the stuff stays the same during the week only because I do prep food on a large scale, as you guys may know by some of my older videos. I'll link that down below too. And, um, you know, it is what it is. So I'll bring you guys some of the recipes that I've been using a lot and I've been kind of bring, I've been incorporating into my diet. Uh, but a lot of the things that I'm, I don't develop a lot of stuff from scratch anymore because it's just, it takes a lot of time and I'd rather just bring you guys more content and maybe even possibly review other people's recipes in order to give you guys viable options. So that's it. This is freaking eight minutes as long as vlog. Uh, questions, comments, let me know. Once again, appreciate all the love and all the support I've been getting through Instagram, through uh, YouTube, through Twitter, all that good stuff. You guys are awesome and I appreciate the fact that you guys are liking the content. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.